everybody. <laughs> Welcome to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And we're so excited <laughs> because we are going to make something really delicious and Yay. magical today. Porcini risotto. Crazy. Crazy oh, good. It's going to be so good. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's get excited and let's start making this incredible porcini risotto. So what I'm going to be doing today that's going to make this really, really extra special yes. is we're going to be using something called <gasps> porcini finishing salt. Now this is something that we got at Food Shed Exchange and uh, you can get this online. You can of course use just regular salt, but trust oh, me, no, when you use no. this, it's going to take this risotto, which is really good to I begin know. with, to a level that crazy you can't town. Believe. Take so, you to crazy town. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so now, as I mentioned, this is porcini. Porcini is a, is a kind of mushroom um, in Italy. What uh, they normally, when you find these mushrooms, they're going to be in your. They're most supermarkets carry them. If not, certainly one of your specialty markets, and definitely like an Italian market will have them. Will I be um, able to find them? You. If you go to any of those types of places, <laughs> I just said, uh, you can certainly find them. Or um, do they have a certain look or anything about well, them? Well, they're dried. So what, for this ah. recipe, and almost always I see them dried. Sometimes you can find them fresh. But for, for this recipe, we're going to use the dried variety. And they come in a box. And uh, what you need to do is you need to rehydrate them. So you can do that one or two ways. You can get some boiling water, put them in the water, and let them just sit in there for about 10 minutes, and then turn the heat oh. off, let them cool a little bit and then you're gonna drain them through a strainer. It's real important that you reserve this uh, mushroom liquid. Look at that, it's like mushroom it's the stock. shroom sauce. It's it the is. shroom sauce. Shroom stock. Mm -hmm. Or you can just let it rehydrate in a, a bowl of room temperature water. It's just gonna take a little longer, about an hour. So um, you take mm. your pick, but then Those you strain good. these beauties, and then mm -hmm. what you're gonna do, like I said, it's real important that you save that liquid. Save and then, stock. Stay, save and then stock. you stock. And you give them a rough chop, okay? now. Before we do that, let me tell you what else is going to be going into this glorious Ooh, dish. Now, lovely. risotto is one of those things, some people get a little scared and they get a little frightened when they hear about it. There is some technique to it. Uh, we're going to show you how you can do it at home. As with anything that requires a little bit of technique, the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get mm. with it. And uh, But I love it. It's just it's just one of my, it's one of your favorite dishes. I dish, love risotto. He loves risotto. I love saying risotto. And he says it a lot. Okay, so um, in this risotto, we're going to start off with um, uh, some oil that I've already got heated in this skillet. We're going to put in some shallot. Mm, We've got some yay. garlic. We're going to let that cook. And then we're going to put in some white wine, Ooh. really get that aromatic going. <laughs> and then we're going to dump in our arboreal rice. This What's is that? Well, that's thyme that we're going to put in a little bit later. I got it. That's another aromatic that you put towards <laughs> the end. But thanks for pointing it out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk a about the different types of rice that you can use for risotto. But we're using arboreal, which is by far and away the most arboreal. 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 Which is the most easy to find hmm. um, in in like your. Uh, um, Easy to find outside of Italy, we'll say. Um, and then we're going to cook that down, and we're going to get it all creamy and delicious. And when it's right towards the end, we're going to take it off the heat. Yay. We're going to add some butter. We're going to add some Parmesan butter cheese. Butter and cheese. And then we're going to... Butter gonna... and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Your staples of life. Yes. And then we're going to add some thyme just to give it another little flavoring. And like I said, we're going to be using this porcini salt. So I have been talking <clears throat> so much. And then, of course, oh, very important, we've got our stock over here. So we've got... Um, is that just chicken stock? It's, it is chicken stock. So or, is, or you can use a vegetable stock? Or you use... could. You could. Yeah, you can use any kind of stock. I mean, tri tri chicken stock is very commonly used in arboreal. I mean, sorry, in risotto. And the um, chicken stock you get from just boiling bones. Boiling the bones of the chicken. <laughs> well, you can go to howtofeedaloon.com <laughs> and get the recipe to make a really good homemade chicken Ooh, stock. Oh, it's like liquid gold. Which is what I always recommend. Mm. But um, if not, they have really good chicken stocks that you can get in the supermarket these days, too. So here's this... Uh, uh, shroom, shroom stock styles. that we talked about. We're going to add it into this stock, and then we're going to start applying that uh, this stock to the rice once we put it in, and it's going to slowly start to absorb. So we'll talk about the technique of that in just a moment. But mm. all right, like I said, we've got this mm. oil going in here. It should be nice and piping mm. hot. We're going to put a whole shallot. Oh, sizzling away. Look, look at that. And then we're going to put in some garlic. I, this is about two cloves Ooh, of garlic. Smells good in here. It does. Too bad we don't have smell of vision Yeah, well, just <laughs> wait. You think this smells good, which it always does. It's going to be fantastic. So like I said, we're going to be using something really special today, and it's the porcini Yay. finishing salt. This is really an incredible way to prepare your risotto. And uh, now you may think finishing salt, that's when you 
apply it at the end, it finishes it. Well, in most cases, that is when you're going to apply the finishing salt. But risotto, it's very important that you apply the salt as soon as you get the salt or they get the rice into the skillet because it really needs to absorb that salt flavor. If you put it in at the very end, it's not going to be a part of that rice and a part of the flavor. So that's a critical, one of the critical steps, one of the critical techniques of putting in rice or putting in salt into the... Uh, now, did we tell them that they can get this at the foodshedexchange.com? I think we did, but okay. if we didn't, <laughs> That's where can you get it? Foodshedexchange.com. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, now we've got um, some white wine that we're going to put in. Again, you can get the full recipe at howtofeedaloon.com, but this is just going to enhance that there flavor. There we go. That mm. look good. Okay. Blend them together. Oh, I just love the smell of white wine. I love it. So good. love it. I mean, it's hard for the loon to have it just sitting there to not like <laughs> pick it up and drink it. But I'm like, no, we're cooking with that. Sorry. Drink that bottle over there. But um, <laughs> anyway, so this cooks. Uh, you're going to want to cook this for just a couple minutes so it starts to cook down. And um, so then you so you've got the shallots and the garlic and the white wine. Yes. Okay, so while this is cooking down, let me tell you about this rice. This is called arborio rice. Ooh. Now, when you're in the arborio. supermarket, this is, this is pretty easily found in, in, in supermarkets. Uh, you may even see a box that just says risotto rice. That's most likely oh. going to be arborio. Oh, that's easy. This is a type of rice that that's, uh, comes from northwestern Italy. Um, is it it's short, short? It's a short grain rice. Um, it's thick, thick, and it's really, it's got a high starch content, mm. which makes it perfect for, for risotto because risotto should be nice and creamy. And as you, as you stir this continuously, Love it that. knocks around against each other and it, the starch is released and it really makes a beautiful, creamy, creamy risotto. Now, the, the properties of this particular grain of rice and the, the, the size of it also allow it to stay very well intact. It doesn't That's become crazy. sloppy and mushy and, and, and also because of the, it's got of a less of a milling process that it goes through rather than say long grain rice. So it's, it's got knew? more, I know, so it, it makes, <laughs> Good and creamy, but it also has a little bit of a, just a little bit of a bite to it, uh, which is what you want, and that's called al dente, mm. and, which means to the tooth. And uh, so you crunch. want a little tooth. You just want to feel a little tooth. Tooth, tooth, tooth. 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 <laughs> okay, this is cooked down lovely, and um, I'm going to apply this now. This is about a cup and a half. Uh, now you'll see because it, it has the ability to absorb so, so much secure. liquid, it really, it really will expand. and. It may not look like you've got much to start with, but trust me, a, a cup Ooh. and a half is going to feed probably easily four to six people. Now, so we're gonna we're gonna. It's real important this, to get this spread. What? Now it's. I mean, is risotto like an easy thing to make, or is it semi? Well, it's like we said before. You it, does be take, it does take. It does take. You got to watch it. You got to watch it, and it's there are some <laughs> very important technique steps, like like things that we've talked about that you can't really skip. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to come out in the, with a really beautiful creamy texture, mm. and it's not going to be al dente. What, uh, what was that um, word that you used the other day? Something about. Away, though. So the away. Italian, uh, the way that you know that this is really not perfect. Not this way. No, not that kind of way. <laughs> it should be like a wave on the ocean. Not so the whenever woo. you do like, the <laughs> whenever you do like this, it should do woo, woo. like that. But no, it should be like a wave. So what I'm doing right now is I am getting this around in the stove, I mean in the skillet. And again, another important technique is to use a nice wide uh, diameter skillet. The top, ed the edges that go straight Just up are better than the ones that are, because it's all about even distri distribution of the heat. Oh, well, that's and that's really important. Tip. And what's really important in, in building the risotto is keeping the temperature hot. Now, I've got this over a pretty, high flame, you're going to go, want to go medium to medium high flame, and you want to maintain that temperature. Mm. So, as we start adding the stock to absorb that liquid, you, that's why it's so important to have your stock hot when you put it in there. Because oh. you know, if it's not hot, then you're going to reduce that temperature and it's not going to, it's going to change the cooking then technique. Yeah, then it won't be. Exactly. So now, as I <gasps> mentioned, adding the salt at the beginning is crucial. So look at this, Porcini salt. I know, salt. it I smells smell. so good. It smells really good. I mean, it smells, it, it is Porcini wow. with salt. Ooh. So we're going to put some of that in here to get that nicely incorporated. Look at that. That's very pretty. They look fabulous. Mm -hmm. They so are rustic. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Rustic. Porcini risotto. <laughs> oh gosh, 
This smells amazing. I know, amazing. I can't even take it. Ah. I know it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now this is also, the, this is what a lot of people call during this uh, stage of the, the, the building of the risotto, is you're getting the rice kind of toasty. It, uh, it just toasts it a little bit, so then when it mm. starts to absorb that, liquid it just it's going to fluff lovely and it's going to be divine so and then that's when the the waves start to happen that's when the arando starts to happen Ooh. so what's important to also <laughs> another important key step in risotto is you don't want to just dump in all of your liquid at once you need to give it time so generally you do about a cup of liquid per time and you're going to put that in there you're going to let that uh, you're going to stir it. That's what they call turning it. You just keep turning it, turning it, and turning it, and let it absorb, and then you're going to add some more. Now, how, then, how long do you turn it? Generally, I mean, you should get a good, really good al rondo <laughs> within 20, 25 minutes. Oh, Generally, wow, you got to stir for that long? Well, that's not that long, Wesley. Oh. God, <laughs> that's for me. Yeah, you've been on the couch for like five times that amount of time. But anyway, so you've got that in here, and... Uh, now we're going to start turning it. And so we were just recently um, at a food festival. It was the Taste Food Festival uh, in, yeah, the, in the Atlantic, the Atlantic City. Atlantic City Taste Food and Wine Festival. Yeah, and uh, we met some amazing chefs. Really we saw amazing. some incredible uh, products, and it was, it was a wonderful time oh, that we had. And Chef Barrett. We met Chef Barrett. Yes, yeah, yeah. he was on, um, uh, what was it? Hell's, Hell's Kitchen, Hell's season, kitchen 11. season 11. And he and actually made a risotto. He was making it, when we came up and talked to him, he was making a risotto. And uh, he we, had a really good tip that I, that I, I hadn't actually heard before, and uh, I've been, since been using it, and it really does make a difference. So let's take a listen to what Chef Barrett Yay. has to say. Hey guys, so here we are with Chef Yay. Barrett Byer. Uh, you probably recognize him from Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen. Kitchen. Yes. Um, he's amazing. <laughs> The food he's preparing is delicious. delicious. Actually, what, what are you making today? Well, today I made a 12-hour uh, braised short rib. I braised oh. it in a, a chocolate IPA stout. Ooh. And then uh, I did a, a mascarpone and mushroom risotto. Oh, my. Uh, and this uh, uh, risotto was so creamy, so perfectly yeah. made. I hope so. Uh, so what, what is your... Sorry, go ahead. Well, you know, this, one of the things on Health Kitchen was the risotto. Yeah. And everybody kept messing it up. It's not really rocket science, but uh, that's why I did risotto today, because it was a big thing on the show. And I wanted to show people that I really can cook risotto. Yeah. Yay! Oh, I, I love that. I've done it myself, and there, there is some, definitely some technique. You clearly got the technique. You want to know the biggest technique? Use a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon. Really? The friction, the friction, when you're stirring it, the friction from the wooden spoon really starts the starch spoon. risotto, which makes it creamier. And love it. it quicker. If you use a metal spoon, it just kind of glides right through the risotto. Love it. So, what, what's your next project? Oh my God! What, uh, I'm doing multiple things. I'm uh, I'm consulting at uh, Space Abyss in New York. Okay. I'm oh, consulting at Bistro 914 in Yonkers, which is opening up in two weeks. Uh, so I got two executive chef positions and uh, a cafe in Fort Washington. Oh my God! Throwing some private dinners, some cooking dinners. Oh my dinner. God! We got a busy night. Oh. Sometimes you sleep. You <laughs> no, no, no. We take naps. <laughs> we take naps. Well, well uh, can we uh, can we take <laughs> a bite of this, or at least let let the loon have some? Yeah, the loon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, no, I'd love some too. Okay, you, guys this, you guys, this is amazing. Yay. There you go. Wow. Here we go. Perfect. All right, here goes, folks. Oh my god. Amazing. Look amazing. Like, are you lying? Like, no. Like, I no, 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 no. I, can't I can't lie about food. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, thank you well, so thank much. Thank you so much for talking with us. No this problem. is incredible. You guys, check it out. Check it out. Fire. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, follow me on Twitter at BarrettHK11, Facebook Chef Barrett Fire. Just Google my name. You'll find me. I'm out there. Yay. He's all over the place. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ciao. Yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much. This is delicious. I want to eat it. So, wasn't he great? Oh, I, I love tell Chef you, Barrett. He's so nice. He really Plus is awesome. He's got a really nice hairdo. The mohawk. <laughs> and I tell you, his risotto was amazing. I, I, I hope this is, can you can do it justice. But uh, I loved his tip, too, for using a wooden, wooden spoon. spoon. It's all of those little tips that come together to make just the <laughs> perfect risotto. So Crazy. now I think we're getting real, real close. And as you can see, Look at this that. is getting very, uh, oh this my is God, it's very, getting, what's it, so what are you what calling it? What do you call it? Al rondo. So Al -rondo. it's got a nice wave. You, know, you, you want it to be very nice and wavy. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to now put in these Ooh, mushrooms. The porcini mushrooms. Oh, it's so Those beautiful look. and earthy. Don't they look Delicious. great? Delicious. 
Okay. Mm. Now, I just turned mm. off the heat because I just want to incorporate this. I'm going to take some of my thyme, thyme just to add a little bit of little flavor. Thyme. Save a little bit for your uh, for garnish on top just to make it Save real, a little time. real pretty. Okay. <laughs> now. When do we do the butter and salt? We're going to do I that. The butter and the cheese. It's good to give it just a couple seconds, maybe a minute or two to let it rest after oh. you turn it off the heat um, because that, that butter could separate if it's really, really hot and it, it just makes a consistency that's not so good. So in the, the uh, time that we're using here to let this rest, let's just mention again how much we appreciate our friends at Food Oh, Chin yes, Exchange. those guys are awesome. They like really like are. we mentioned earlier, they've got that online platform that you can go to, go and order this this porcini salt, and or many, they've many, got like 15 other ones. Yeah, so they're, 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 really, they're really incredible, and we just can't uh, express really enough great. how awesome they are. So, okay, let's, uh, let's Yay, get serious let's with this. Let's do it, um, let's do it. This is let's when put it gets, some butter in the risotto. I got two tablespoons of butter here. Mm. I'm gonna mm. incorporate that around and let that start to melt. And then, and then we have and the then cheese. You can eyeball this. Now, again, this is the type of thing that uh, now, you're going to want to know. Why do you want to eyeball it? Why well, don't you just throw it all in there? Because I, there's a certain consistency <laughs> that you're going with. And I know you want me to put the entire like thing in there. The more cheese, the better is what I always say. I know. And I think this right here was probably <laughs> about a cup and a half. And I'm going to go with about a cup. Um, you know, again, Ooh. you'll begin to sense what's the, Ooh, the looks really so right. Good. It looks so good. Wow, that just gets creamy. really creamy and just unbelievable. Oh. All oh. right, Loon. I think we've got oh, a I masterpiece on our I hands here. Wait. So let's go ahead and bring this on over here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and the, so oh. it should be whenever you do it, it should just kind of gently fall to the side. That's oh. when you know you've got a, a good texture. I've wow. got my fork. Of course you have your fork. Got my fork. You never go anywhere without I your fork. I travel with my fork. <laughs> <laughs> he really, really does. Okay, let's garnish this with a little thyme. Okay. Oh, yay! That smells so good, I can't yay. take it. Am I ready? Can I go in? Go for it. All right. Hold on to your hats, folks. Get a Love mushroom in there. Love it. Love it. Good. Oh, mm -hmm. On the hmm. Oh. I think he said the salt and then the borcini. Oh my lord, it's so good. Mm. Yeah. Now that loon approved. Oh. <laughs> oh. And that's mm. how to feed a loon. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. See you later. Bye.